So hello everyone and welcome to Decorating with Barbara. In today's video, I am going to decorate the dining room with a few of the items that I shared in my recent haul. So a viewer, one of you guys, a subscriber, commented on how I could use one of the pieces in my decor and so I thought I would give her suggestion a try and then let you guys see how it looks and then I'm also going to just try out a few more ideas and then you guys can tell me which one you like best or if you have any suggestions of your own. So let's go ahead and get started. So you guys may remember that I told you I wanted to add a little warmth to my neutral decor. And so that's why you saw me bringing in so many warmer metals. And this picture is what pretty much started it all. Now I had picked up this picture last year and I like the fact that it had copper in it and it actually has quite a few metals it does have a little sprinkle of a gold glitter there's some silver in there and then there's some shades of gray and so i've never really used the copper as a um, accent color in this room so i thought for the fall season i would go ahead and pull out those copper tones And so that's why I picked up these lamps from Home Goods, but they're not exactly the same copper, and that's probably okay with me. In my opinion, everything doesn't have to be so matchy matchy as long as you can get things to blend together. Now, I did mention in the last video that I may need to spray paint a few of the items to get more of them to blend so we'll see how that goes but for now I'm going to leave the lamps as they are and um, I have enough of the other items in the room that has copper in them that I think I can work with okay so the suggestion that the viewer had was to take the uh, Take this large vessel and put between the two lamps. Now I hadn't thought about that, but um, it's a nice look. So she also suggested that I take the beads, the green ones, because if you guys remember, I was thinking of taking them back. But she suggested to go ahead and place them inside the vessel. I'm not exactly sure what her thought process was as how to uh, place them in there, but I like them just hanging on the outside with the cross here. And then here with the two wraps. Okay, so this is what it looks like, and I think I'm just going to place a few little greenery stems inside. Okay, so I just put a few little olive branches inside just to, I don't know, just give it a little height. And so what I'm going to do is play around with this look and a few other looks today, and then I want you guys to tell me what some of your favorite looks were. And then on Wednesday, I'll come back and give you guys the reveal. Okay, so I also forgot to mention to you guys on the day that I picked up the base, I also picked up these sticks. So I'm just gonna see what these look like. Okay, so I just added a few decor pieces. Now, let me know, do you like it with the sticks or do you like it better with the olive branches? So, 
if I left it this way, then I would want to soften the table just a little bit. So I would add a runner and a light color to pick up the light colors from the buffet. my very large dough bowl and maybe put some moss inside. Now just imagine that there's moss inside the dough bowl. <laughs> At the moment, I don't have any moss. Okay, so I did find something green. It's not moss, but it is green. This will give you an idea what something green would look like on the table just to soften up the uh, wood surfaces Okay, so that's one look now the next look I want to show you what it looks like with the vase in the middle of the table Okay, so this is the vase in the middle of the table and I just added the candle So now I'm going to put a few items on the buffet Okay, so I placed a few items on the buffet and I think that looks pretty good. I did think it was important to add the green to the buffet. I could add it in the candle holder or I could add it in the greenery. You guys tell me what you think. Okay, so I like this look as well. It has a little softness to it with the green in the vase. And it picks up on the green in the beads. So I think that looks pretty nice. And I think the only thing that bothers me about the buffet is the brass or the gold on the bottom of the glass vase. Okay, so I have one more look something different for the buffet and just slightly different for the table. I'm going to keep the vase and then you guys tell me what you think and then on Wednesday I will share the reveal. Okay guys, so this is the last look for the day. Now you guys chime in, tell me what you think, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. And then on Wednesday, I'm going to come back with a completed look with all the bells and whistles. And guys, it's okay if you don't have an opinion, if you're just here for the ride, that's okay as well. There are a few things that you need to know before you make your decision or make your suggestion, and that is Whatever I put on the dining room table, I need to be able to see the buffet, see what's on the buffet. And so I never like to put, even though I have the candlesticks here and they're pretty tall, as you can see, I didn't place candles on them because candles will give it a little more height and I don't want to take away from what's going on on the buffet. So. If you come up with a suggestion for the table, just make sure it's low enough so that it doesn't interfere with what's going on on the buffet. And then we don't want it to be too busy. So also, I'm going for a more casual elegance. You guys know I typically like that rustic glam look. And so, yeah, I just wanna keep it kind of casual and just a little bit of glam. Okay, so I'm counting on you guys. Help me out so we can make a beautiful space on Wednesday. And just remember, these are suggestions. Some ideas may work, they may not. I will try them all if you guys are willing to leave, um, leave a suggestion. And then I just wanted to say thank you to the subscriber who left the suggestion about the vessel and the beads. I think that was a great idea. And so we'll just see where we go from here. Thanks again for watching everyone. And I hope to see you all back here on Wednesday.